uh, if you watch the movie What Dreams May Come, what they talk about, uh, Cuba Gooden Jr., he says, well, you're making this world down here. This is your world. He said, this world I'm in after he died is like a picture me and my wife bought at a flea market. We looked at this picture. We said we must have it. This is our, our idea of heaven. So we hung it in on our wall. So now when he died, he was in his idea of heaven on that wall. So he was uh, Cuba Gooden Jr. was telling him, no, this is your world. I'm in your world. He said, when I'm here in your world, we're co-creators. But I'm creating in your world. But all of this is from you and your mind. He said, ironically, down here, the way we uh, get things or make things happen is thinking of them. Now, all of, this is one of the most profound movies about what happens when you die in the astral world because all the shit they were saying was absolutely true. His wife, who killed herself because she couldn't take the death of her kids and her husband – went to what they call hell, and they had the true definition. It was still the astral world. It was no place below the fucking earth where it was hot, but it was her definition. What became hell for her was living in that house alone, and she was destined to live in that house alone based upon, they said suicide, but that's not the case. If you kill yourself, you're not going to your hell. Where they get that from is most people who do kill themselves have built a hell already in their mind based upon their life. So if you kill yourself going, fuck it, I'm God, I'm going back to heaven, that's where you go. But most people are under stress, under duress, under some sort of strain who kill themselves. So that strain in their mind or where the state of their mind becomes the heaven or what we call hell. That's the closest you're going to get to hell, your own mind. Because your own mind is in control and creating everything. So all of those who are conscious, y'all have nothing to worry about. Because y'all at least just know you exist after the body hits the ground. Most people don't know that. So since you know that, you're already in a place of saving yourself, of controlling your next existence whether that's coming back here or moving on, based upon your consciousness of death. So, and not even I know this and I know that, just the fact that you know there's something beyond just laying in the ground and Jesus coming to rescue your ass, that's enough, just knowing beyond that is enough to save your ass. So that's a movie I recommend. It's called What Dreams May Come, Robin Williams, Cuba Gooden Jr., because they explain the entire situation about the afterlife, even the cosmic boat, because the cosmic boat concept in the astral world is what's actually going to take your soul. Your soul is actually called the cosmic, cosmic boat. It was called the solstice boat or some shit like that, or, uh, but Isis's boat at first, then it became the sun boat of Ra, but it was all this boat, or you see these Egyptians on the boat is a representation of your soul. And when you meet Ra in the uh, sunboat, that means you're actually also leaving the astral world, which is a part of this illusionary world. So that soul boat is also what you see in Peter Pan. Captain Hook represents Saturn, Death, or Kronos. And Captain Hook, with that hook, is Kronos. And he's on his boat trying to get Peter Pan to die or get him out of the astral world where his spirit is there forever. He's trying to get his soul to move to the great beyond. When you watch the movie What Dreams May Come, there's a scene where they was going to walk on this dark boat. And you see nothing but chaos niggas there. That was most interesting of all because it's actually nothing but black people on this wild-ass boat. And they show that. And they're showing, no, this is the realm of the nigger, the chaos realm. Very profound movie. But so... What I'm trying to get you to understand through that is your mind is all. What you believe, that's why I started with fake it till you make it and all the rest of that, because what you believe will become your afterlife. So if you were be believed that you were pursued by the Illuminati, if you believe that chemtrails have fucked you up, and, and, and GMO food and all the rest of that shit that you complain about as niggers, endlessly you take this thought process with you into the afterlife 